another one of my videos. This is Vlogmas video number four. Um, this has definitely been rough um, recording these long videos and then editing them all and trying to post them um, like boom, boom, boom in a day. Um, it is a little difficult, but I am loving it so far. And today I'm going to be doing a what's in my purse and a what's in my gym bag video. Um, here and there I get a request to do this. So I figured I would throw it into the Vlogmas series. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's just get right on started. So I am going to start with my gym bag. This is extremely heavy, probably why my back hurts all the time. But um, this is the bag that I take to the gym every day. Here and there, I will just take my purse in depending on the day. Um, but on leg days, for sure, I take this in because I have a few things in here that are for leg day. So um, I'm just gonna start with like the pocket in the front and then the top pocket as well. And then I will get into the big zipper. So the first thing that I take to the gym, obviously, is my body spray. We need to smell good in the gym, can't be stinking up the place, so I always make sure that I have this with me. The next thing that I always make sure I have with me is a pair of scissors. I know this is so random, but I honestly catch myself a lot needing like scissors or a knife. So I always make sure that I have these with me. These also go in my purse. Um, but like I said, we will get to the purse in a little bit. The next thing is my oh, little package of wet ones. I am a total germaphobe when it comes to certain things. So whether I go to Planet Fitness and use the tanning bed or really just anything, I love to have um, like germ killing wet wipes with me. So I always make sure to have those. Another thing to make sure we don't stink up the place is my deodorant. Um, I just have always used this kind. There's no specific kind that I really care for. I'm not really picky about it. I just go and pick a kind in the store and I'm done with that. So I always make sure there's deodorant in my bag. My next things, these three things go together. I always make sure I have my washer egg, my face wash, and... Um, this little bottle it is just filled with my CRV, um moisturizer lotion for my face i always take these two just because most of the time if i go to the gym i'm going somewhere after and my face is very sensitive to sweat so if i don't wash my face immediately after a workout that i sweat a lot most of the time it breaks out so i always take this with me and wash my face at the gym after my workout and the last thing in this front pocket, I only have one here. I'm not quite sure where the other one is. I think it's in my car. But I always take my little lifting gloves. I haven't worn them in a really long time. As you can tell, my hands are disgusting. They're pretty manly at the moment. But I really need to start wearing these again. But when I did wear these, my hands were nice and pretty. I didn't have all these big calluses on them. And these are just nice for a little grip to when I'm doing my deadlifts or really anything else that requires you to have a good grip. Even when I'm doing pull-ups, I love to use these. So that is my little front pocket necessities. Now into the top pocket, I always, always, always have my business cards with me at all times. Um, in case I'm ever in the gym and anyone asks me what I do for a living or just anything that would come up, I can just hand them a business card. So I always keep those with me. The biggest necessity of this gym bag is my beats. I've said this before, if I don't have my beats when I'm working out, um, my workout most of the time sucks 
or I will literally leave the gym if I get there and realize my beats are dead or I don't have them. That is how important it is to me to listen to music while I um, go to the gym. So those are definitely a big thing. Another thing, hair ties and a headband. Um, I don't wear the headband very often. I can go without a headband, but I always make sure I have an extra hair tie. There has been many times I've been stranded in the gym with no hair tie because when I was putting my hair up, it broke and oh my gosh, if you are a girl, you know that is the most annoying thing in the entire world is not having a hair tie and your hair is all down and your neck sweaty. It's just disgusting. So I always make sure I have this with me. Last thing is if you're a girl, you know you have to have a tampon with you, of course. I figured this is a gym bag haul. I don't want to keep it in there because I'm embarrassed. I'm a freaking girl and we need tampons, so let's just be real. And now into the big pocket. I'm going to just put this on the floor. Another necessity that, like I said, this is when I take it in for leg day is my, um, let me get this all out of here my Susie B barbell pad. Um, I just recently got this in the mail. This will be in my Black Friday haul, so I don't wanna talk about it too much, but I make sure I always have this in my gym bag along with her glute band. I have had this glute band for like six months now, so this will obviously won't be in my Black Friday haul, but I love this. This is a good, um, little tool to use for glute activation before my leg days so i always make sure i have my suzy b products with me because i love her stuff more than anything next another necessity of mine and one of my favorite things is my yeti water bottle um this thing literally goes with me everywhere i go no matter where i go it's always with me um, she has been dropped a few times in her day, so I definitely have some big dents in it, but I love this. Always make sure I have that. And when I am working out, I try to drink an entire one of these per my workout, maybe more. Um, that's always a little like mind goal of mine is Kylie, you're going to drink the whole water bottle today. Um, next thing you guys are on my tripod or you're on my ring light right now but this is my camera like i said you guys are watching me on it so we're just gonna pretend it's in here but i always 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 take my camera and my tripod to the gym um if you follow me on instagram you know that i record my workouts so this is what i record it with i used to record with my phone but it looked like junk so i ended up buying a really nice camera it was kind of pricey but it is a canon and i absolutely love it um so that was definitely a good investment in myself so this goes with me everywhere again that goes in my purse too depending on where i'm going um but we will get to that another little necessity an extra um pair of clothes i'm not gonna lie one of my biggest fears is getting stuck without having an extra pair of clothes like anything could happen i could get soaking wet i could freaking pee my pants for all i know and it's i just love having an extra pair of clothes with me and just recently my dad was telling me he was watching the Dr. Oz show and apparently Dr. Oz said it is disgusting to say to stay in your workout app workout I literally cannot talk you guys oh my gosh Dr. Oz said it is disgusting and full of bacteria to stay in your workout clothes after you work out in them like you don't want to stay in them for probably any more than an hour after even that may be too long because there are a lot of people out there that go to the gym and work out and then wear the same outfit for the rest of the day. I don't personally do that. I feel gross more like most of the time I go home and take a shower right away. But just in case anything would happen and I would need a change of clothes, I always keep this in the bottom of my gym bag. It's not a big deal. It doesn't take up a lot of space. 
and at least I know if I would get soaking wet or if I need to hurry up and go somewhere after the gym and I look gross, I have a change of clothes. So I always, always, always keep clothes in there and then if something would happen and I would have to wear those clothes, obviously I make sure I put a new like outfit in for the next time I go. And then last but not least is just my cheap little Target um, handle band. I love this thing. It is so nice to do a little full body workout with. Or if I go to the gym and these are all like taken up because a lot of my workouts include me doing like overhead band extensions. So if they're all taken at the gym, I have mine with me and it's not all germed up. Like I said, germaphobe. So I like having my own. And that is everything in my gym bag. Um, that was actually a lot. That was probably extreme, but I really like to be prepared, you guys. So um, this is just my bag. It's just my Nike volleyball bag that I got when I was like a sophomore in high school. But she has held up for me for a really long time and I absolutely love it. So that is everything that is in my gym bag. And next we are going to move on to my purse. All right, this is my purse. I guess it's technically not a purse. It's a book bag or a little backpack. But um, I am obsessed with this book bag. I got it about Whenever I went to New Jersey back in November, um, we had a couple minutes before we had to, well, I guess not a couple minutes, a couple hours before we had to catch our flight back home. So there was a mall nearby the airport and um, I was with my boyfriend's mom and she was like, oh, I need a new purse. So we happened to go into Michael Kors and it was an outlet Michael Kors store. So everything was 70% off. And when I saw this bad boy, it was originally $500, but I got it for like $125 or $140, I think, somewhere in that general area. And I have been obsessed with it ever since. It does come in this, obviously, white and brown, and then it comes in black as well. And this is just freaking adorable. Every time I go out with it on, when I, whether I'm in the mall or in the grocery store, most of the time somebody compliments me on it and I'm like, thank you, got it for $140 when it was $500 originally. Um, so yes, but moving on to what's in my purse. This sucker is pretty like jam packed because like I said, I overdo it. But starting in these little pockets, the two side and then the front, um, Again, I always make sure I have extra hair ties with me. Um, I hate not having a hair tie. I already have said that in my gym bag. I don't need to repeat myself. Um, secondly, I always take a phone charger with me. Um, never know when you're gonna get stranded and your phone is almost dead. So I always keep that charger with me. On to the other side. Not surprising, just my car keys. Um, obviously, those need to go with me everywhere or I'm not getting nowhere. And onto the front pocket. To me, this is very important. I have my snacks. I just have a little protein bar and then I just have a little... Um, bar pretty much full of sugar but sometimes um i feel like oh my gosh i need to eat so that's what i have another little necessity that i love to keep just in case are these little flavored water packets um or flavored power powder packets for my water um and i will show you guys inside i always take a water with me as well just because I have a lot of fears and running out of clothes, water, and my phone dying is all three of them. So, and being hungry, I don't like to be hungry either. But moving into the actual big pocket of my purse, 
again i told you guys this goes everywhere with me my oh my camera and tripod um whether i'm working out in the gym or i'm just vlogging my day i always take these with me next is a water um take water with me everywhere i go um we i either take this or i take my yeti but we always have water bottled water at home so that always goes with me next is my sunglasses um i love my sunglasses to death when i just recently went to mexico i unfortunately forgot them here so i was basically blinded and was squinting the entire freaking time in mexico but we made it and i didn't go blind so that's all i really care about next is my scissors and i always have a permanent marker and a pen with me these are all pretty random i know but having a pen with me is like my biggest savior at times when i have to sign something hello germaphobe like to use my own so keep these three things with me at all times in my purse next my favorite thing in the entire world i use this literally 40 times a day um it's just my carmix um lip balm and these two kind of go hand in hand i have my little um surface tablet laptop whatever you want to call it with um this little adapter that goes into it because when i'm on the go if i'm sitting somewhere for a really long time that has wi-fi i always try to edit videos for youtube or i'm working i the field that i work in in the oil field i never know when i'm going to get called and have to look something up so it's always with me and like i said this fits my little camera sd card so i'll be editing editing youtube videos workout videos um whatever it may be so i have that with me a lot next is my wallet i have a feeling a lot of people are going to ask this is from target um it wasn't very expensive at all i think i paid like 14 dollars for it so it just kind of is like a three little flip open situation um i think this is absolutely adorable um and i didn't think it was that expensive to me target can get pretty expensive but surprisingly that was cheap and then i take my makeup bag with me wherever i go um it has like everything that i need in there just in case something would happen and i would have to like brush myself up but i only have a few more things in here next is advil i love to make sure that i have my advil just in case because when it comes to be that time of the month i literally feel like knives are stabbing me so advil always helps me even if i get a headache or if i'm sore or anything from like that i always have an advil with me and then um lastly again i have a tampon just in case but um that is everything that i keep in my um gym bag and my purse this was just a fun little video to show you guys what's in each of my bags um like i said a lot of people here and there request that and just say oh i want to see what's in your purse or i want to see what's in your gym bag so i figured i would put it in vlogmas but um enough talking i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like you can give it a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and as i mentioned before if you hit the bell notification it will notify you every time i post a video this is vlogmas video number four so you have eight 
videos left of December. I'm going to try to get them all up um, obviously before Christmas Day, but if I don't, at least it's still December and I can still post through the end. But eight videos coming your way. The next one I think is going to be 50 fun facts about me and my best friend. Um, she's going to come down and do that video with me. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. Keep on the lookout for those. And if you would like, you can follow me on Instagram right here. And I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.